Good morning children. I hope you are all safe and staying at home. Today we are going to do a revision of chapter 1 of English literature. So let's begin. In the beginning of the chapter, Exploring Symbols, we learned about the poem Where the Mind is Without Fear, written by Rabindranath Tagore. This poem was written during the time when India was fighting for its freedom. The poet wants his countrymen to arise and fight for their freedom. He wants them to enjoy a life of dignity and honor. The poet requests God to give the people strength to break the bonds of enslavement and free themselves. He wants the people to think and reason and to be open-minded. The people need to give up their blind faiths, superstitious beliefs and embrace change. They should stop fighting in the name of religion and stay united. The people need to liberate themselves from fear and choose the path of progress and prosperity. Our country will become a heaven and the future will be filled with happiness. In the poem, Tagore compares reason to a stream. Here, stream is a symbol for reason. Similarly, heaven is used as a symbol for freedom. Now children, what does a symbol mean? Well, symbol is an image, object or a word that represents something else. I hope this was simple enough for you to understand. The next is the story of the fox and the rabbit. In the story, fox and the rabbit, the fox symbolizes arrogance because he is like a foolish person in real life. The rabbit is a symbol of a witty and an intelligent person. The rabbit is a clever animal because it senses the danger and acts quickly. The rabbit is a brave animal because it acts intelligently and avoids a dangerous situation. The hunters represent difficult situations arising and hence we need to be alert and quick to act like the rabbit. The next is the story, The Emperor's Dream. In the story, The Emperor's Dream, Emperor Akbar was not pleased with the astrologers because they interpreted his dream as a symbol of loss and sorrow. Emperor Akbar was pleased with Birbal because he interpreted the dream 
as a symbol of happiness and contentment. From this, we come to know that interpretation of symbols and situations may differ from person to person. Some might see a huge problem, but others might see it as an opportunity. Problems can be symbolized by mountains or high walls or locked doors. The solutions to the problems can be symbolized by roads, ladders or keys. So, if a problem seems like a mountain, there will always be a road through it. If a problem seems like a high wall, there will always be ladders to climb it. If a problem seems like a locked door, there will always be a key to open it. Growing up can be symbolized by herbs because they grow quickly or a tree because it grows slowly. I hope you were able to understand this. Now, let's understand the meanings of a few words that we came across in this chapter. The words are given in column A and the meanings in column B. First one, fragments means pieces broken off or detached from a complete portion. Next, striving means to labor hard. Next, dreary means cheerless. Next, domestic means related to family affairs. Next, tireless means without rest or sleep. Next, desert means a waterless or isolated area or land. Next, brag means boast or show off. Escape means run away. Leaped means jumped. Represent means to mean something. Interpret means clarify. Prophesized means forecast. And handsomely means generously. This concludes our lesson. I hope it was simple and interesting enough for you to understand. Children, I request all of you to read the lesson and the notes that have been provided to you. Thank you and have a great day.